Alright folks, today we're looking at the DJI RS C2 firmware update that was released on November 25th. This is the first firmware update that DJI has released for the RS C2 gimbal. So let me point out some of the new important features that you need to know about and how you update your RS C2. Here we go. All right, before we start, let's just check what firmware we are on. So we'll press here, we go into advanced, down to other, and then we find firmware. And there you can see the firmware version you are currently on. All right, let's update the gimbal, the DJI RSC2, and you do that in the app. So let's find the Ronin app, here we go, Ronin, connect, and then you press device list and we press connect. And if we got a new update, it will come up and display it in the top corner here. And all we have to do is say update. Then you will get a list of things, of all the things that it will update. And you need to have more than 20% remaining of your battery. So update, here we go. Remember not to switch off the gimbal or switch off your phone, anything like that while it's updating. All right, so the update is done. So let's just head into the gimbal here and see what we got. Advanced, there we go. Down to other, over there. Firmware. Now we've got 010010010010010. Before we had 01000060. So that's the update. It's a long number. I don't know why they use those long numbers, but that's what it is. And just keep in mind that if you come from a shoeing gimbal, you cannot undo this. Once you've updated it, you've updated your gimbal. On the shoeing gimbals, you can downgrade your gimbal if you want to do that. So just remember, once you upgrade, you've upgraded your gimbal. All right, before we get into the new features of the RSC2, I just want to point out one thing about the battery issue. In my previous video about the Weeble S and the RSC2, I talked about this video of having an internal battery in the RSC2 that you couldn't switch out. So yesterday when I left the studio, I forgot to turn off the RSC2. And when I came in this morning, only 3% of the battery was left. So I've done a test. I plugged in the RSC2 for 20 minutes to see how much power I would gain on a short charge. And I got from 3% to 18%, which is not much, but it is doable to, to continue a shoot. And just to compare this with my shooting gimbals, this would never be a problem because I can always switch out the batteries in those gimbals. I can just have extra batteries that are charged and just swap them out and it's ready to go. But I just wanted to point this out because I know this could be a deal breaker for some of you who's considering the RS-C2. So I will say that is quite a big firmware update that they have come with DJI and most of it is camera control related. But I will go over the six main points of this firmware update that I find relevant. But if you want to see all the new features, I have added the link in the description to DJI where you can see the list of features and everything that comes with the new firmware for the RS-C2. All right, so the six features we'll go through is a battery check, briefcase mode, camera control, follow focus, Blackmagic Pocket 4K, and Raven Eye. Let's start with the first one, which is battery. All right, the first cool new feature is the ability to check the battery level on the gimbal when it's switched off. All you do is you press the power button once and you will get an indicator of how much battery is left on the gimbal. As you can see right there, we had 20% left, which is not much. So let's get to the next one. The next one is a briefcase mode and what DJI says is that, that they have optimized the gimbal's transition when turning the RSC2 into briefcase mode. I really don't see any big changes when I do this, so this must be an internal thing because it does the same move when it turns around and spins into briefcase mode. All right, then we got camera control. DJI have now added camera control features for a wide range of cameras like the A7S III and the A7C, also Nikon Z6, Z7, and the Nikon D500. The added camera control functions from the gimbal are things like video recording, photo capture, camera settings, autofocus, and focus pulling. 
And as a Panasonic GH5 and S1H user, this update is great because DJI has now fixed the issue of camera control failure when plugging the cable from the gimbal into the camera. They have also added camera control support for the new Lumix S5 as well. I have mentioned all the cameras that the RC2 now supports, but I've included a link in the description to DJI where you can read the full update. All right, let's go over the follow focus settings that they have added to the RC2. This added ability to auto calibrate and delete endpoints of the follow focus motor. And yes, that is all good that they have done this, but we're missing one feature and that is to manually be able to set the A and B endpoints of the follow focus. Because if you've been following me, you know that I am using the follow focus motor for the ND filter so I can control how much light is coming into the camera when I'm on real estate shoots. And I would like to do that from the actual follow focus motor down here so I can control it wirelessly. But I've made a dedicated video and it's called the ND hack. You can go back and watch that. I will link it down in the description. All right, so the next one here is for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K cameras really hard to say that but I will read here because it's a bit of a weird thing so they say that for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4k cameras they have fixed an issue with the gimbal axis fail to stabilize when changing the frame rate during recording this sounds a bit weird to me because who would change the frame rate during recording you would stop the camera change frame rate and then continue recording so it might be something with the gimbal if you're changing frame rates from the gimbal uh, then the camera fails to stabilize but i really don't know i don't have a black magic pocket uh, cinema 4k camera so if any one of you guys out there sitting with one one of these cameras could you please test it out before you update the gimbal or just tell us here what the issue were and if it was fixed when you updated the gimbal thank you all right, then there are some updates for the Raven Eye. There's a lot, but the most important thing is that DJI has added the ability to access camera settings from the DJI Raven Eye image transmission system by connecting the camera using camera control cables. And now you can also remove the default password and choose your own, which is a really nice feature actually. All right, let me just recap quickly here before we go. DDI haven't done any changes to the algorithm or the functionality of the gimbal. So that remains the same. We won't get any updates for the performance of the actual gimbal. And I will say it has some weak points once you point the gimbal out in, the, out in some of the outer positions here. Uh, it is not as smooth as on the Shuen gimbals. So I hope we will see some updates for that in the future and as well as the follow focus motor uh, issues that I pointed out, which I really want to see in the next update. But we'll have to wait and see what comes out from DJI next time. All right, guys, that is it. That is my update of the uh, DJI RSC2 and how you update the gimbal. If you want to see any of the videos that I've mentioned in this, in this video here, you can find them down in the description. And I will also link some of them down here so you can go and watch those. And of course, if you want to learn all aspects of working with gimbals, you can join my Gimbal Academy. There's a link down in the description where you can sign up for the wait list for the full course, which I will launch early next year. And of course, if this is the first time you're here, remember to subscribe if you want to learn more about filmmaking with motion. And there's only one thing to say, and that is stay creative and stay safe. And if you can, go out and shoot some dope videos. See you next time. Bye.